So ladies and gentlemen, this is Taurus Cove. Just gotta pull in here for a quick second. All right, we're good to go. So there's a couple areas here that I'm probably going to visit. There's a little beach down here at the bottom of this hill you'll see in a few minutes. Where I'm going to stop for a minute and have a look around. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this leads you out to Balin East. I think this is the road. <laughs> we'll find out. It goes through Burnt Cove and Balin East. Lots of grit on the old roads here, that's for sure. After uh, all the rain, man, this stuff makes me nervous. All right, have a quick stop over here before I go that way. It's been a while since they uh, plowed this. The last time I came out, it was a lot smoother. <laughs> Beautiful area, hey? Gotta have a little walk around while we're here. Last time I was here, I actually rode my motorcycle out onto that wharf, but it doesn't look like it's uh, too promising anymore. Yeah, last summer, I uh, actually came all the way out here and parked and had a coffee. The last time I was here, there was a bunch of whales out in between that area. I flew my drone out, but I didn't get it out in time. They were gone. And if you look over that way, that's where Baleen East is. Byron's Cove, I think it's called, or Brian's Cove is in this way. And then just out a little further is Baleen East. So those are going to be the next two locations we're going to stop at. But I think before I go, I'm going to get some drone clips up here. I do have drone clips from here before, but might as well get some current clips to, uh, to coincide with today's video, right? Get this up soon because it looks like it might rain. Once it rains, I can't fly. 
because these drones aren't waterproof, unfortunately. You can't even fly them in fog because uh, moisture gets in around the battery and the motor and all that crap. But they are cool little devices. This one here is a DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro. And it's uh, they actually got a 4 out now. But this serves the purpose, as you can see from my videos, the quality comes out pretty damn good, I think. Fly, little drone. See you later. All right, I hope you enjoyed that flight. It was a little sketchy at times. I had the low visibility warning kick in, the high wind warning kick in. It's uh, stressful when your drone is way out there and uh, you're not sure if it's coming back to you or not. So let's get back on that bike and uh, head out towards uh, Balin East. All right, let's get out of here. I forget the name of this little cove. Ooh. Boulders. <laughs> Yeah, gold wings don't do so well on uh, big boulders. Roads are great anyway. <laughs> this can't be the road. There's no way. Definitely not.
think I'm going to break up my GPS. My Google Maps just died on me. All right, got to pause for a minute. This looks a little better. I think I got lost. <laughs> So it turns out Pauline East is not out that way. <laughs> That's how much of an idiot I am. But since I said I was going there, I might as well. It's just up here. I got to turn left to go out that way. I think it was in the right direction that I was pointing when I was back at that beach. But in order to get here, I actually have to uh, go this way. Balling inside Burnt Cove, there we go. Lots of excitement today. Looks to be a little foggier out this way. Definitely a little cooler. Oh, oh, thought I was going to kill that poor little bird. <laughs> he went left and right and left and right. Anyway, this area here is called Burnt Cove. I don't usually stop in Burnt Cove because I usually just pass through it to get to uh, Baleen. much excitement. Not many inviting places to stop and park either. I wouldn't mind getting a couple drone clips of this area. And this part here is St. Michael's.
cliff's edge retreat. Looks like they had a recent downpour by the looks of it. Pond is nice and calm today. Tree harvester. I think I hired them one time. I seen the sign back there. And this area right here is Baleen East. I'm going to take a little ride through before I stop somewhere. I've never been through, I don't think. And these roads, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know whether or not they're roads or driveways. Hard to tell, isn't it? <laughs> well, this is my first time up here, so I have no idea where this is going to lead. Hopefully there's somewhere to turn around. I feel like I'm driving up a driveway. Wash out ahead. Well, it's definitely a public road and not just a, uh, a driveway, so that's good. Now, back down. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful though? The roads might be treacherous, but the view is not. Unless I gotta stop quick, I'm all right, I should be. Anyway, that's where we're heading, to that wharf. like a cow path. <laughs> All you need now is a ramp off the end. How's this for a view, hey? Definitely gonna be parking here for a few minutes. So, how's this for a spot? This is actually my third time here for a coffee. Cause yeah, I'm gonna boil up a coffee. Pretty sure I am. Pretty small, quaint community. I could make my home here, that's for sure. I was gonna go explore, but I think I'll make my coffee first and bring it with me. It's more fun. Got something in my hands besides this camera. Actually, since it looks like it might rain, I think I might uh, capture a few drone clips first and then I'll have my coffee, just in case. Got to wait for all my settings to connect and I got to wait for it to connect to the GPS before I can uh, 
because see it's unable to take off. But now that my home point is updated, I can take off. You ready to go, buddy? Yeah? <laughs> Let's see. There you go. Fly. Goodbye. Well, I got my drone back just in time because uh, I noticed there's some pecks of rain over my uh, motorcycle and also on my screen. So, uh, yes, I made a good call by going with the drone before I made my coffee. Well, she's starting to come now. Yeah, that's uh, perfect timing, if anything. <laughs> now, I got to panic to get this packed away before it pours on it. If it pours too much, I might have to skip my coffee too. We'll see. All this fun stuff, carrying it around with you and taking it out, putting it away, taking it out, putting it away. All just to make a little video to entertain you. Actually, like I said before, it's to entertain me. Keeps me busy, keeps me occupied. There, now that'll be dry. All right, you know I mean business when I'm uh, taking out my chair. I haven't used that this year. And because every place I went to had, um, had benches. But today, I'm going to break it out. It's been a while since I used it. These things come in handy. You just simply uh, 
stick together. Look at her, like little magnetic, elastic contraptions. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm out of practice. Technology. At least the rain is holding off somewhat. What do I got going on here? Oh, it was hooked. That's why. There we go. All set. I got my instant here. I'm gonna use that instead. She's ready. Didn't take long. All right, you know what this means. It's time for the traditional taste test with a background. It's pretty good, maybe a little weak, but that's all right. It's warm and uh, I'm toasty and my view makes up for any weakness that this coffee might have. Plus, I could always throw more in, but I think it's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy this place, this place for a bit. Can't even talk, I'm so excited. Look at that up there. The sun is trying to break through. You can feel the warmth from it as well already. I'm not going too far. I'm just gonna walk in on this beach for a little bit since I'm here. Got no choice, right? It's a beach, you gotta walk on it. If you look at any of my other Bali and East videos, you'll see this sign in that as well. And this might have been a good spot to have a coffee. I mean, look at this view. Okay, squatting right down here. See how nice that looks? Guess I better keep an eye on my bike. 
Melvin's Mini Museum. Let's have a look around. He's got quite the collection. Lots of artifacts, moose antlers, anchors. Lots of anchors. Definitely no shortage of anchors. My only thought is that's a lot of rocks to move around to stack up there to make that wall. Wonder how long that took and what equipment he had to use. It's nice though to come down and just uh, have something to uh, pick at and look at. Well, I think that's it for this visit. I've uh, dragged this out long enough for you. I know, I'd like to get them down to about a 20 minute video, but for some reason they always end up to be 30, 35, 40 minutes long. Oh well, that's it. One last taking in of the view. Some of those waves are hitting pretty hard over that way. I just caught out of the corner of my eye. Balling East. It's been a blast. Thanks for the coffee and I'll uh, see you on the motorcycle. All gone. Well, I almost had a heart attack that time. Just packing up my stuff, enjoying the sounds of the ocean. And then that stupid emergency broadcast thing started uh, started uh, buzzing in my pocket, frightened the crap right out of me. I don't know what the government's doing, but uh, I might have to sit here for another hour to calm down after that. <laughs> All right, time to get out of here. Wasn't this awesome? I got to admit, that was a pretty good way to spend the afternoon. It's 20 to 4 now. I should be home in time for Wheel of Fortune. Yes.
Well, just about back to the main drag here. The main Irish Loop, Southern Shore Road, or whatever you want to call it. The 10 North. It takes you back to St. John's. So, I'm going to sign off now. And again, thank you very much for joining me for this uh, ride. And I really do hope that you got something from the scenery. Uh, because I certainly do and it's uh, it's so peaceful and mindful and I'm hoping fingers crossed that you're feeling a little bit of this as well and maybe encourage you to get out and do the same thing so once again thank you take care of yourselves and all the best to you peace out